Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another gameplay video. Today we're playing some Hearts of Iron 4 as the Socialist States of Austria-Hungary, or the People's Republic of Austria-Hungary, however you want to fucking call it. Anyway, um, we left off last time. We finally had our peace conference. It took me a little bit to figure out what the fuck was going on, but I got it. I figured it out. And uh, the Soviet Union took a pretty large portion of Germany, but so did I. But Germany still exists. It's got four states left. It's a socialist republic now. It seems that Italy is democratic. And Romania is also democratic for some reason. I mean, we're the ones that had it. I'm not sure why they would. Uh... But Bulgaria is socialist, though, which is good. They're part of the common turn. Let's actually look at the different factions that are part of the common turn at this point. So it looks like Greece is also part of the common turn but it's not aligned so it's not communist but it's part of the communist international Greece just said fuck it I think the nation that got the worst was probably Turkey considering it fucking pieces of pe China has a piece of Turkey for some reason and then Libya became a socialist republic and then uh, and then Ethiopia became a People's Democratic Republic, or also a Socialist Republic. Um, anything else? We got China over here. Oh, it looks like Korea also became a Socialist Republic. Oh, that's right. It didn't change its flag. That's that doesn't make sense. Why why wouldn't it change its flag to like the North Korean flag or something like that, or the One True Korea? <laughs> Oh man, it looks like the Soviet Union took over most of the Japanese home island, just annexed the shit out of that, and just left Japan with that, and then made it communist. The Soviet Union is kind of a dick. I should have totally fucking acted against them at some point, because they just kind of took everything now. Bunch of assholes. Alright, so our main plan right now, we're going to... Um, help the People's Revolution over here in China. I'm going to see if we can't assist them in defeating the Chinese because I'm pretty sure the People's Republic of China is about to declare war on the Chinese. Um, as you notice, World War II actually ended in 1942, three years before it should have ended. Well, three years before it did end in the real world. And, uh,. The USA isn't even a part of the... Oh, it is a part of the Allies. Okay. Alright. So that's where we stand right now. South America is still South America. Nothing nothing changed here, I'm pretty sure. Central America is still Central America. The Americas look exactly the same. I think the only continent that changed was Europe and Asia. A little bit of the Middle East. Okay. Let's continue on. No divisions in training. We don't need divisions in training. Let's take a look at our production real quick. Yeah, we're for, we're upgrading as of right now. We could probably be doing better with that. Mechanized equipment. We were making that, but... Okay, so we have motorized filled up, so let's just get rid of that all together. Get rid of some planes. I need to do that. Okay, mechanized equipment. We want to get that. Um, that's really good against infantry and shit, which would be really helpful. And we need to get some advanced artillery at least. I mean, honestly, look at the. We're using fucking pre-war pre-war artillery. I don't like that. I don't think that's uh that's not efficient enough for good old Austria-Hungary. We need to have better artillery that can shoot at least more than a mile. You know, actually, I think is that is that a good distance a mile for an artillery to shoot? I think that's I think that's a pretty nice distance, a full fucking mile. They should probably be able to shoot more. You know, I'm just I'm just confusing the hell out of myself. So, medium tanks, heavy tanks. Okay, let's. We're going to modernize our army here because we're making a lot of shit that, uh, well, we don't have to make anymore. 
Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna continue to upgrade all of our shit. Mechanized equipment is not upgrading motorized. That means we have to fucking go and build some more motorized. We need to build a whole lot. Let's um. What can we sacrifice? Oh, we can sacrifice support equipment De definitely. Holy shit! There we go. Now that should be good. And we should. Well, I know we're building destroyers and battleships. How about that? Okay. Nice. Okay. Before I begin, though, made a promise I'd explain the uh, whole how I upload videos and shit. So as this is playing, I'm gonna explain to you what the what the actual schedule is. So to clear up some confusion. Okay. So the schedule that I have is. On, I don't upload on a Saturday. That's the only day I don't upload. Any video, you know, that'll come out will not be on Saturday. Now, there might be a video on Saturday in, like, very special rare occasions. Especially if, like, a holiday special or something like that is on Saturday. But I don't upload on Saturday. And the reason for that is, is that my family tends to do things a lot on Saturdays. And it's, I just don't have enough time to upload. I could do more than one video on the Friday before that. But I'll get into that after I read what's going on here. Since the rise to power of the communists, the Lithuanian SSR has been working towards closer relations with the Soviet Union and has joined the Union itself. What, this fucking tiny little fucking territory over here? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, wow. So if you need to try doing that shit, they'd be getting fucking rocked. Okay. So anyway, what I try to do is I try to upload every day of the week, not upload Saturday, and have a late upload on Sunday. Sundays I typically have a late upload. Now the reason for that is that it's Sunday... And, uh, I'm lazy as fuck, okay? <laughs> Just the laziest motherfucker on the planet, and that's why. Because I'm probably all t kinds of tired and shit from, you know, the day before Saturday. And then I just kind of wake up late. I'm not really feeling it until later. And I start uploading, but I try to get a video out on Sunday. And then every day of the week I should have a video out. That's the schedule. There we go. Just to clear up some confusion there because it may have been confusing on what what's the actual schedule there. Um, as for a specific time during the day, I'm working on getting videos out um, two to f two to four. You know. <laughs> Two to four o'clock was the original schedule, but they're always they always come out l like late or really early. <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt to get it from two to four. So that's the that's the range. And then this week, I said I'm gonna try to start uploading two videos a day. So that's that's my goal thus far. So wish me fucking luck on that. Because it, it was supposed to, it's supposed to be convenient for you guys, especially, you know, the ones that are sticking around for the series. Um, I'd like you guys to be able to know when, when something's coming out so you can be ready and prepared to watch it, you know. Allocate some time out of your day before it even comes out to watch it. And, you know, if the schedule's off, then you don't know when the video's coming out, so. That's why I kind of wanted to inform you fellas you know, yo, my homies, what's up, because it could be a little confusing. I apologize for that. I apologize for not uh, informing you guys when the series first began about the upload schedule. But I did, I just did, so you're, you're welcome, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that really helped you at all. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Now we're going to go on to fucking playing some Hearts of Iron 4 as we were. You know, I just made a new army over here, down here, with this guy, 
and then we're gonna go fucking touch the border with China and uh, hopefully assist the People's Republic of China to defeat the Kuomintang okay so that's that's who this that's essentially what these people are the Kuomintang they're like they're like a semi-nationalist group in China is it semi-nationalist or like full-fledged nationalist Chinese nation I'm pretty sure they're like the nationalists and then you have the communists but that's the neutral here and then China is you know fucking communist okay you got that cool nice Russia's got a lot of troops in Turkey for some reason pretty sure Turkey's part of the uh it's not for some reason it's democratic okay we got some military factories we can spend some of that shit on something uh... i don't know i guess some more fighters I mean, the more fighters we have out the bat the better let's actually get some heavy fighters the next bit of uh... military factories to come in we're gonna get some heavy fighters Maintenance company number one. Cool. Okay. Let's do maintenance company number two. And then, since we got maintenance company number one, let's go down to edit division and then click. Actually, let's do this for maybe a tank armor division. Heavy. Yeah, let's do it for the heavy maintenance company. What, what actually does it give you? 0.5 organization plus 1 HP, negative 4 armor, negative 4 piercing. What the fuck? It's a fucking maintenance company. How is it making your tanks weaker? Your fucking tank armor weaker. Why does that make sense? What the fuck is that shit? This one makes it significantly weak. What the fuck, man? There's some support artillery, and then support anti-tank, engineer company. I guess everything just kind of makes it weaker, to be honest with you. Well, golly. That's okay. It, it doesn't fucking matter. I don't think it's going to hurt it too much. Let's put it in there anyway, because it plus 25% reliability. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. Put that shit in there. And the infantry divisions, let's put the recon company in there as well. Save that shit. Okay. Neat. Let's take a look at our progress over here in China. We haven't actually fought anybody yet, but we've surrounded this area that's not protected, so we can get behind the Chinese lines when the communists attack. Because I'm pretty sure the communists attack, okay? pretty fucking sure if they don't well that sucks we're attacking anyway but if they do cool we're gonna attack and we're gonna kick some ass for the people's revolution <laughs> the Chinese workers revolution so it looks like the French got the uh, Maginot Line back all defended again and the Soviets kind of have a couple of troops sitting across there. Engineer company. Let's start upgrading our navy some more. We're getting... Wait, what the fuck? Are we researching submarines right now? Is that a thing we're doing? Let's get some destroyer number twos. And then let's get uh, fucking battleship number twos. So, um, if China, if uh, Communist China doesn't actually declare war on China, the other thing that we can do is we can try to attack the Allies. You can see if we can defeat the Allies. And, um, that might, would, that might be just what fucking happens here. Might just boil down to that, attacking the Allies. Should I though? Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it. If the Chinese don't invade, I'm fucking doing it. 
It's still 1942, though. I feel like it's a lot later. Thank you. Holy shit, 63 days. Experimental rockets, nice. Destroyer effort. Ahead of time by 100%. Gives a 50% research bonus, if not ahead of time. Valid for the next one research slot for these technologies. This will this will uh, boost my destroyers. I don't want that shit. I want some artillery, man. I feel like I've done the artillery already. Armor technology. Even though I'm getting naval technology right now, I don't want boost. You know, I ain't like that. Oh man, it's been a day. It's been a fucking day. I'm tired. I just woke up and I'm tired. What, what, what time is it like? It's like 11 o'clock right now. This is the, this is the schedule I'm working with just to show you how much responsibility I have. The level of intelligence has significantly decreased. You know, I left school a while ago and it just dropped off. The fucking knowledge. I'm sitting here clicking on Albania I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh man. Well, here's here's our country. Yay. All right. So, Soviet Union's still kind of chilling at the border with the f fucking Finland over here for some reason. They can't even attack and Finland's guaranteed by the allies for some reason. And um Sweden doing nothing so let's how much we got let's boost the fucking party popularity of communism in Sweden see if we can't make them communist and then let's can we declare war on China right now I feel like we should just do that shit and get it over with justify war goal conquer Fucking Ning, Ning. Ugh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't want to. I don't want to try to pronounce it because I don't want to offend anybody. Offend any Chinese people. Actually, I don't think any Chinese people are watching I mean, in, in China because I don't think they allow. Uh, they, I'm pretty goddamn sure they don't allow internet. This random free internet because they did. Holy shit. Let's get nuclear reactors. Let's go fucking straight nukes. I got a recommendation to go nukes. That's what I'm doing. And soon the world will bow to my nuclear strength. I'm like the fucking Soviet Union right now. Okay, you see, here's the pronunciation pronunciation of Iran, okay? It's Iran. It's not Iran, okay? Like, Iraq is Iraq. I'm pretty goddamn sure that's how you pronounce them. Those, those nations over there. <laughs> and the socialist states of Austria-Hungary is pronounced shithole. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. I crack myself up sometimes. If we're actually gonna attack the Allies, then we should probably let's let's get just get rid of this entire thing here. Pause that shit. Let's start splitting this military up into different groups. You come down here to Italy. Is Switzerland a part of the Allies? No, we don't have to worry about them then. You guys, you're a significant bunch. You guys up here as well. No, 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 wait, 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 go here. If you go on the border, we'll pick a new general. Promote this guy. Okay. Then we still got some troops over here, just kind of chilling. Then we're going to put them... Where's another ally? Is this an ally? No, it's not a faction. It's just democratic. We'll put you guys... Looks like the Netherlands has a lot of troops. Put you guys here. 
Here we go. Now we should be getting prepared to attack the allies here. Well, we are getting prepared. Hopefully. Hopefully my troops are ready for this shit. Because, um... I'm pretty sure after World War II, the Allies tr uh, were thinking about attacking the Soviet Union before they were able to uh, maintain their power in in Eastern Europe. But in all seriousness, though, they kind of decided not to do that because the Soviet Union had like fucking unlimited manpower at that time, and even with all the strength of the Allies, they still might not have won. Which I find that pretty interesting. I forget I forget what that operation was called. The one that would that would have been carried out to attack uh Soviet Union and the communist nations of Eastern Europe. Annexes Tonu Tava. Hold on this hold on a second. Where? Oh, right here. Tonu Tava. That's how you pronounce it. Pretty goddamn sure. Soviet Union annexes Tonu Tava fucking in, in a press release earlier today, Moscow announced the formal an annexation of Tanu Tava. Tuva, Tuva, Tuva. The Supreme Soviet agreed to a request from the Tuvan Parliament. Tuvan Parliament, I guess Tuvan. I'm just going to say Tuvan like a tub. I apologize if that offended anybody. Hey. For membership in the USSR, the small Tuv... Fucking Tuvan's People's Republic, which had only been officially recognized by the Soviet Union in Mongolia, will be organized as an autonomous oblast. Okay. Tanu, what? Hey, that's, that's not nice. Oh shit! Just wait, what the fuck? There's justification war against our allies. Hey, fucking excuse me, sir. What's that shit? We're a part of the same faction, asshole. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't declare war on the members of your fucking own faction, dude. I can leave your faction, and then you can be able to declare war on me. But I, I, I literally can't. Uh, I can't do that. We, you can't declare war on me because we're in the same faction, Stalin. I know you really fucking want to, but I apologize. That's not how this game works. We're going to be attacking the Allies, Stalin. That's the plan. Damn. Chill the fuck out, dude. I know my backside looks very juicy, but back the fuck up, man. Encryption cyclic permutations. Okay. I'm just researching shit now. I should probably have like a clear direction of where I'm going with this. Let's see. Airland, hard attack, soft attack. We'll see what I've got here. I've been getting soft attack this whole time, so let's go hard attack. Now, where's my navy been spawning at? Here's my six ships. My six destroyers. It's a glorious people's navy. National focus. Special forces. God damn, I'm almost out. Cruiser efforts, get that. I'm almost out of national focuses, man. Why is there British troops in my territory? Sorry, Canadian troops, it seems. It says it's British, so. I wish there was a way that you could, you know, like, like develop a spy network within a specific nation and then have their shit revealed, like, like where their military units are. I feel like if you have, like, a, like, the encryption and decryption technology should definitely incorporate that in there. Like, you should be able to see where the enemy's military is or something like that. I think that would be really cool. Cause it's kind of fucking pointless now, to be completely honest with you, to see what what the other what the enemy's f national focus is. What why, why is that even valuable information? I really don't care what France is doing with their national focus. Is that valuable? I don't think it's valuable, but you know, fuck do I know? I just play this game. Just start to keep. Uh, upgrading these engineer companies. So here's Netherlands. Part of the Allies. 
Military access to the Netherlands, okay. <sighs> I'm not sure how this is gonna go. It's probably gonna be next episode where we uh fucking declare a war or actually declare war on the Allies. I think this episode we're gonna start the war with China. If it ever decides to develop fifty eight, fifty nine. Oh shit. Got some troops over here, as you can see. You know what, dude? I think I think we're gonna be able to do it. Yeah, especially defeating China. China shouldn't be that too terribly hard to defeat in this game. God damn! You gotta be careful when you're talking about different countries and shit. Like, like if I go and say, "Man, I fucking hate France." Like if I say that. The fucking like one Fran French person that's watching my videos is gonna be like, this asshole hates my country. What the fuck? And I'd have to explain, further elaborate. It's the uh, nation in the game that I dislike because of what it's doing. Not your, not the actual country in real life. Because the actual country in real life, France, is pretty, it's, it's cool. Okay, it's okay. Fucking, it's got city of love and shit. It's a very lovely nation. You get it? So you love, uh, well, anyway, that's what, uh, you'd be a little bit careful. I could say Austria Hungary because the nation doesn't even fucking exist. Fuck Austria Hungary. <laughs> I could, I should make a Hearts of Iron episode where I can see how many people I can offend. It's offend is fun, fucking, God, I can't fucking speak. Oh, I'm offending your ears right now. Offend as many people as possible. There we go. Insufficient resources of rubber. Well, UK the fucking rescue. Give me some rubber, homie. Thanks. Okay. Feeling like we should recruit some more soldiers now. And then some light. Am I making light tanks? No. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do fucking division designer and shit. Create an empty one. And then we're gonna add medium tanks to this one yeah shut the fuck up dog god damn it fuck you <laughs> then we're gonna add uh... some Ooh, mechanized infantry. Hmm. Fuck yeah, dude. Mechanized infantry. Add that shit. And then we're gonna get some fucking support artillery. And then we're gonna get maintenance companies. <laughs> and then we're gonna get fuck move. And then we're gonna get. That's it. Save. Medium tank type one. Hell yeah. Look at that. About get the fuck out of here. Add units. Vienna. First fucking Vienna award right there. What are we missing? Medium tanks? Pretty sure we're just, we're just fucking building medium tanks right now. Oh, we're building heavy tanks. Well, that explains that. Let's change that, actually. Let's change this to just being heavy tanks. There we go. There we go. Now let's change the name to uh heavy ass tanks. There we go. Cruiser effort. We're getting so much shit right now. Hold on a second. Pause. Equip C A S C A fucking S. Sure. Okay, research slot available. Destroyer threes, get them. And then uh uh 
Uh, let's get transport ships so we can in fucking do a naval invasion of the United States eventually. When it comes around to it. Rocket artillery? I don't know if it's useful. I'm just going to stick with regular artillery. But I'm going to get some anti-tank upgrades. I'm eventually start making divisions with anti-tank guns in them. Export focus? What the hell? Limited exports. Let's do that. We don't want to give away all of our resources. Fully 100% communist. Nothing. No competition whatsoever. That damn Soviet Union. Who the fuck has cavalry anymore? See, this is what I'm talking about. That's why the Soviet Union lost in, in the fucking real, you know what I'm saying, real world, you know what I mean, in real life. Just had horses running around. It was fucking colonial era. God damn. Level up. So progress with China has, uh, has two days. Two days left. And ah, there we go. Okay, all right. So I'm not even sure how long this episode is. I I, I don't have my timer with me, so we're gonna fucking we're gonna invade China here. And the People's Republic of China is gonna help me out. So oh, of course, of fucking course, France. You know what, France? Fuck you. I'm done with your bullshit, okay? Cancel, declare war, potential out. But oh, potential enemies. I'm so fucking scared. Call my allies, conquer that shit. Here we go. God damn, how many fucking communist nations exist? Oh man. The USA. Ah, oh, jeez. Looks like. Looks like shit hit the fan faster than it was supposed to. Well. Well, what the fuck? Okay, so let's put some planes in here. Holy shit, that's a lot of fucking planes. Fighter 2s, boom. How many? <laughs> I, guess, I think I can just put them all in. Yeah. Oh, I got heavy fighters too. I didn't know that. Well, shut. We'll put them. We're gonna put all this shit over northern France. I guess our shit's still there from when we were f actually when we were attacking Italy the first time, when it was fascist. There's fighter ones, and then let's get the heavy fighters. Oh, excuse me, god damn, let's fucking get the close air support as well. Can you count? There we go. And then. Over right here, we'll put the fucking the fucking rest of them, and then <laughs> the strategic bombers. We'll put them in there, and then we're gonna put the fucking anti-war bombers. Just like that. Okay. Now, who's what we're gonna do? Fucking France. Put this shit in France. Go to France. Air superiority, air superiority, strategic bombing with the tactical bombers because we want to destroy the French industry, uh, you know what I'm saying, infrastructure and shit like that. And these fighters go over France as well, air superiority, and then these heavy fighters will also go over France as air superiority, and close air fighters, close air support will also go over France as close air support. And the close air support will also go over France as close air support. And then fucking 
shit. And then the strategic bombers will also go for France, blowing their shit up. The tactical bombers also go for France, blowing their shit up. Boom. How many fucking fighters do we have? I don't know, like a thousand? Holy shit, that's a lot of fighters. It's gonna get pretty fucking nuts. Okay, now let's uh, launch a full scale assault just just across the border there. I don't know if Netherlands is an enemy. I think it's a part of the Allies. So I'm just gonna attack it just for the fucks of it. It was an enemy. And we're attacking. This attack is not gonna work. It's just not fucking happening. Even one time see seem dire, friends. Shit continuously hits the fan. Okay. We're gonna create an offensive line in Italy. Because it doesn't seem like Italy is, like, greatly defended at all. And we should probably make some more military units defending the uh, coasts here. So let's put these guys in military. Stick them across the coast like that. We don't give a shit about this coast. Fuck that coast. We're only worried about ours. Military factories put this shit anywhere at this point. I don't even care. Insufficient resources. Rubber. Because someone decided to f just lose it all. People's... The Thai People's Republic. Okay. Brazil. Give me your rubber. There's fighting going on over France. Fucking... God damn. I apologize. Okay, here, here, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Let's attack. No, let's attack this area. No, let's attack this area. There we go. That didn't work. <laughs> Making progress in the Netherlands, which is useful. Useful information. Uh, air wings with no mission. Well, shit. We're losing them. We're fucking losing them. We have the fucking slightest air superiority by the slightest amount. This is ours. This is active enemy. God damn, how many fucking fighters can you have, my homie? Shit. 44 put two in here. Fucking Vertenberg. Neat. Okay, this attack is not working out. We're going to attack through the Netherlands and Belgium. But that shit will have to wait for fucking next time, okay? Sorry about that. Sorry that shit will have to wait for next time. Let's see how this advance, little advance is carried out here. Okay, it looks like we're... We're kicking ass down here. Pax Americana. Whatever the fuck that is. Pause that shit and read that because I don't even know what the hell that is. We may struggle to find allies in the Americas now. Well, golly. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. Participating in this adventure with me. Hope, hopefully you heard of the, uh, the schedule in the beginning of the video. Sorry I didn't like open with the schedule. I probably should have, but... That just shows you how organized and responsible I am. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm going to make some more Austria-Hungary. I'm going to make some more uh, fucking Saudi Arabia videos. That Those are coming out as well. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace.